Hello everyone, I had received requests from certain subscribers to demonstrate the method for division which ends with a decimal answer. So in this video I will be showing you these two examples where the answers will end up with a decimal number. These two examples I will be showing in a separate video because these uh, questions have been asked by a particular subscriber. So I will be demonstrating them in a separate video after this. Let's focus on these two examples for this video. The first example is 987 divided by 8. Okay, so as we know, this is the units place for our question set, and this is the units place for our answer set. So I have taken 987 ending with uh, the 7 on this units place, right? And our answer will start on the third rod of the answer set here. This is the hundreds place of the answer set. The first number is 9. So since the divisor is 8, we need to recite the table of 8 as we know. And we'll start as usual. The first number being 9 here, we'll, we can easily subtract 1 times 8. That is 8. So I'll take 1 in the answer set here. Subtract 8 from the question set. Then move on to the next rod. And even in the answer set, I'll move to the next rod. That is the tens place of the respective set. Now the number that I have on the question set is 18, the 1 here and 8 here, so 18. So 2 times 8 can be subtracted from this, 2 times 8 is 16. So I'll take 2 on the answer set, subtract 16 from the question set. Okay, then I'll move to the next rod, that is the units place rod. Now the number that we have on the question set is 27. So we can easily subtract 3 times 8, so I'll take 3 on the question answer set here. And 3 times 8 is 24. So I'll subtract 24 from the question set. So 20 and for subtracting 4 I'll do plus 1 minus 5. Now we have a remainder of 3 here, right? Now if we continue the division method as it is, we'll get an answer in the decimal number. So we'll move one rod further for both the question and the answer set. Okay, so moving one rod further. Now on the question set we have a number 30. 3 here and 0, 0 on this rod. So from 30 we can subtract 3 times 8. So I'll take 3 on the answer set here. 3 and 3 times 8 is 24. So I'll subtract 20 here and for subtracting 4 here I'll do plus 6 minus 10. Okay, now we will move one rod further ahead which is second rod from the units place. So now we have a number of 60, 6060 60 here. So from 60 we can subtract. 7 times 8. So we can we will have to take 7 on this answer set rod. So 7 I have taken and 7 times 8 is 56. So I will subtract 50 and for subtracting 6 I will do plus 4 minus 10. Moving one rod further, finally we have a number 40. Okay, now we as we know 40 does come in the table of 8. Okay, 5 times 8 is 40. So I will have to take the number 5 on the answer set here and subtract 40 here and the question set is over. The answer that we have for 987 divided by 8 is 123. Okay, this rod is our units place. So 123.375. So the decimal answer that we have is 123.375. Okay, I'll write down the answer. Now let's look at the second example. Now in this case, the divisor is a two digit number. So many of us, many of the students as well as parents and teachers might not be very well accustomed to the table of 32. Okay, so what we need to do in such situations is just to be ready with two times 32 and five times 32 for the sake of simplifying the procedure. Okay, two times 32 is 64. We'll have to cal calculate it beforehand. So 2 times 32 is 64, so I'll write down 64 here and 5 times 32 is 160, which I have also calculated. So I'll write down these two numbers just below 32, just to get an idea that 1 times 32 is 32 itself, 2 times 32 is 64 and 5 times 32 is 160. Okay, now we'll start the division of the, with the, of the number with a two digit divisor. So as we know, we'll take the number 4959, which is our divisor ending on this units place rod. Okay, so 4959. 
we'll start with the first two digit number from the left which is the 49 which is on the third rod so the answer will start on the third rod okay from this number 49 we can subtract only one times 32 which is 32 so i'll take one on the answer set subtract 32 from this number 32 okay now moving to the one rod further i have the number 175 here so from this 175 i can subtract 5 times 32 which is 160 so i'll have to take 5 on the answer set here so I'll take 5 on the answer set here and then subtract 160 from this 175. So subtracting 160 is 1, 6 and 0 here. So the number that now we have is 15 which is smaller than 32. So we'll move to the next rod. Remember we cannot move to the next rod until we ensure that the number that we have on the current rod is smaller than our divisor. Okay so moving on to the next rod we have the number as 159 okay so since we cannot subtract 5 times 32 from this we will have to subtract 2 times 32 from this so 2 times 32 is 64 so i'll take 2 on the answer set on the units place here and then subtract 64 from this 159 so to subtract 64 i'll do plus 4 minus 10 here and 4 is directly here okay now we have the number 95 remaining on this rod so still we can subtract another 30 to 64 from this which is two times so i'll take another two on the answer set here and subtract 64 again on this from this 95 so 60 and for subtracting 4 i'll do plus 1 minus 5. now the number that we have here is 31 okay which is just short of 32 so we cannot sub, uh, subtract 32 from this so we'll move to the decimal part of the answer now moving one rod further we have the number 310 here 3 1 and 0 here okay so 5 times 32 can be easily subtracted from this so i'll take 5 on the answer set here subtract 160 from this so 1 6 for subtracting 6 i'll do plus 4 minus 10 and 0 here now i still have the number 100 50 from uh, here so from 150 i can subtract 2 times uh, 32 which is 64 so i'll take 2 on the answer set here subtracting 64 will be done like this plus 4 minus 10 on this rod and for subtracting 4 here i'll do plus 6 minus 10 now we still have the number 86 remaining so we can still subtract another 64 from this so i'll take another 2 on the answer set so two adding 2 on this rod and then subtracting 64 from this 86 so 60 and for subtracting 4 i'll do plus 1 minus 5 and uh, now i have number 22 remaining which is smaller than our divisor so we'll move to the next rod for both question set as well as the answer set now the number that we have here on the question set is 220 now we can subtract 5 times 32 from this so i'll take 5 on the answer set subtracting 160 i'll be done like this one here for subtracting six on this rod i'll do plus four minus ten and zero on this rod nothing so we still have the number 60 remaining so one times 32 can be subtracted from this so i'll add one on the answer set here adding one here and then subtracting 32 from this rod will be done like this plus 2 minus 5 on this now rod and for subtracting 2 here it will be plus 8 minus 10 now we have the number 28 remaining on this rod which is smaller than our divisor now we can move one rod further and continue our division like this or we can stop here because we already have two digits in the decimal if we continue we might get third fourth or fifth digit on the decimal depending on how long the division continues but as we all know in the decimal part as we move deeper into the decimal part the importance of the uh, va place value reduces okay so we can stop at either two digits or three digits in the decimal part now we already have two digits so i'm stopping here the answer that we 154.96 okay division for with the decimal answers is not much dif different to the regular division the only thing uh, is we need to continue the division procedure for another one or two steps so that we get an answer for one or two decimal digits okay 
I hope you like this video and if you do please uh, let me know with a comment on or feedback on this video and please share this video to others with others who can also benefit from this. Thank you.